At last, you've arrived. Good, good. There is much to do, and every moment is critical. I'm Overseer Tremel. For decades, I've administered the trials that prove who is and is not worthy to join the Sith Order. The trials are a chance to weed out the weak. Those who face them either survive and become Sith, or die. Mark my words, I am destined to be Sith. It wasn't destiny that brought you here. Yes, you are here and ahead of schedule because of me. I expect you to obey. You face your trials, you serve me, and I will make you the most powerful acolyte here. Sounds like a plan. The trials themselves are difficult enough, but they are hardly the greatest threat you face. There's an acolyte here named Vemrin. He's your enemy, and he will try to kill you. We must prepare you. Let him try. I'll destroy him. With my guidance, someday you'll destroy all your enemies. That practice sword you've arrived with is insufficient. The blade of lesser acolytes. You need a dominating weapon. In the tomb of Ajunta Paul, there's an old armory. A strong Sith war blade awaits you there. The tomb is thick with claw slugs. Deadly, savage creatures. Be speedy, but careful. They've been the end of many an acolyte. If they lack the instinct to avoid me, I'll feed them their heads. Once you acquire the war blade, I suggest you spend some time in the tomb bloodying it. Then come to me in my chambers in the academy. Excuse me, Acolyte. Sergeant Corman, 5th Infantry Company, Corriban Regiment. Can I... can I talk to you? Speak freely, Sergeant. Thank you. You're the Acolyte Overseer Tremel had brought in special, right? Heading down in the tomb to show what you're made of. And to find myself a Sith Warblade, apparently. Well, here's your chance to not only show off for the Overseers, but start building ties to the Imperial military as well. I'm here commanding a hard target mission to exterminate claw slugs in this tomb. They're horrific things. Mouths bigger than your head. I've lost three squads of good men fighting them. They come in packs. They just... they'll swallow a man whole. If you're trying to talk me out of this, it won't work. Understood. I was hoping you could assist my operation while you're in there. The damn claw slugs breed so fast there's no way to wipe them out conventionally. So we started targeting their egg chambers. They went insane. We managed to get explosives to all of the egg chambers, but the claw slugs were all over us before we could detonate them. Perhaps I could be of assistance. Don't underestimate those claw slugs, sir. They're, they're smarter than they look.
I heard the explosions when you set off the charges. Outstanding, sir.
taken care of your problem with the looters in the tomb. Ah, then I'll assume my men are dead. Even so, you have done us a great service. Their loss is your gain, I suppose. I am most thankful. Yes, sir. Ridiculous, Vemrin. Let's just kill him and hide the body. We're not on Balmora anymore, Torgus. There are rules, traditions. We'll leave the shortcuts to Overseer Tremel and his last pathetic hope here. I'm going to take what's yours, and then I'm going to kill you. You have no idea the enemy you're making. Coming, Dolgus? Be right there, Vemrin. Listen to me, you useless priss. Acolytes aren't allowed to murder each other, but accidents happen. It isn't murder without witnesses. No more warnings. Vemrin's the alpha monster here. You go after Vemrin, you die. Good. You've returned. You seem to be in one piece. Tell me, how do you like your new blade? Take a look. I've already blooded it. What are you doing, Father? I only just got my war blade, and I've been here six months. I have my reasons, Escala. And you will not breathe a word of this to anyone. Do you hear? Yes. Yes, Father. Acolyte, this is Escala, my daughter. She's one of the advanced students here. On her way to becoming Sith. If she minds herself. I'll keep quiet about your new charge, Father. But I won't be there if whatever you're planning blows up in your face. 
Don't mind her. She's just sore that I'm keeping secrets. She growls, but she's loyal. Now, I thought I heard Vemrin's voice in the adjacent chamber before you arrived. Did he make his move so soon? Yeah. I hate him already. I look forward to ending his miserable existence. If things go well, you will have that satisfaction someday. Still, I'd hoped we'd have more time. Vemrin's not the type to sniff around for too long before trying to take a bite. In a drive for sheer numbers, the criteria for Academy admittance has been relaxed. Now anyone with false sensitivity is allowed entrance. Vemrin is mixed blood, the invisible rot eating at the foundation of the Empire. He must not be allowed to advance. So please, just let me stop him. Unfortunately, Vemrin's caught the eye of Darth Barriss, one of the most influential Sith Lords. He's being groomed to be Barriss's new apprentice. As Darth Barriss's apprentice, the power at Vemrin's fingertips will be considerable. He could change the Sith for the worse. You must proceed to your next trial immediately. I want you to interrogate three prisoners in the Academy jails and decide their fates. Consider each criminal's story carefully. The decisions you make will be scrutinized, so let your passions guide your judgments. I will handle it. Go to the Academy prison. Speak to Head Jailer Nash and return to me after you've passed judgment on the prisoners. <laughs> One more chirp from you, little bird, and you'll regret it. Chirp, chirp, chirp. Ow, jerk. If you don't like that, just say so. I can do other animals, too. Dire cat, frog dog, quaking monkey lizard, you name it. You, I'm Jayla Nash. I run these cells in slave pits. You're the acolyte Tremel sent for the test, right? <laughs> he thinks highly of you. That's good to hear. I want to do well. You should know this situation is highly unusual. Normally an acolyte goes off will for the interrogation. Overseer Tremel, had these three shipped in for you. He thinks you're the next coming of Exar Kun. But you ought to know, Tremel ain't the only one paying attention to you. Now, these three prisoners have been transferred here for your inspection. You gotta interrogate them as needed, and then decide their fate. The convicted are usually executed, or given a trial by combat to see if they're worthy. Whatever you decide, you will be the one to carry out the sentence. As it should be. Ah, fine. Let's get started. This one on the left. You freaks aren't getting anything new out of me! Just do whatever you're gonna do! You can either talk to me, or to the Inquisitors. And I promise, I have a much sunnier disposition. Get lost. I've been through this routine. I already know all your Inquisitors by name. Impudent to the last. As I was saying, she was sent to kill an Imperial spy in the Yavin system. Throughout her torture, she maintained that she was hired anonymously. Get it through your damn head! I had no idea he was Imperial, and I don't know who hired me. So you're telling me you're not a Republic assassin? I'm not political. I work for whoever pays. The point is, she doesn't deny the charge. So now you must decide. Execution or trial by combat. Which do you choose? Neither, actually. She could prove useful. Send her to Imperial Intelligence. I won't work for free. Huh. You spared her. Interesting. Please. I am a fellow Sith. Judge me with an open mind and grant me trial by combat, I beg you. Your name, now. This part of Waste is Davotech. Once a valued Sith champion. Until he botched an important mission. 
and caused a thousand Imperial deaths. Now look at him. I served faithfully for 24 years. Then one mistake, and they threw me away. Now I have been left here to rot. Please, let me feel the weight of a weapon once more. I don't do charity work. Feel the weight of a weapon in your throat. I die a disgrace. Good. I won't have to look at his sad weathered face anymore. Thank you. Don't mention it. Ah, well, this last prisoner's a bit of a puzzle. He's called Bregg, and he's a jittery little wretch, suspected of supplying forged documents to Republic agents. Strangely enough, he maintains his innocence, despite being severely tortured. Nebaga imana, naki naya, bila maknam unya kamna lebek. Come on, who would go to all the trouble of setting you up? Nibi kat nakamak, nebaga imana, naki naya, bila maknam unya kamna lebek. Ah, he's never wavered from that line. And the evidence is circumstantial. I suppose it's actually possible he didn't do it. So, what do you decide? I don't care if he's innocent or not. Torture him enough and he'll confess. <laughs> Shut up, you fidgety fool. The decision's been made. Ah, <sighs> well that's that. You're an interesting one, kid. I can see why people are keeping tabs on you. Head back to Overseer Tremel. See what he thinks of your choices. Is this everything? Everything Lord Renning was able to obtain, yes. Then run back to your master in the beast pens before I cut you in half. Sorry to make you wait, Acolyte. These interruptions are incredibly annoying. On to the business at hand, your test in the jails. First, the assassin, Solentz. She attempted to kill an Imperial spy, but was unaware of her client's affiliation. You assigned her to Imperial Intelligence. I commend you, that was excellent thinking. Never waste a potential resource. Thank you, Overseer. I'm glad you approve. What's more important is that Darth Barris would approve. Now, Devotech, the former warrior. He wanted combat, but you struck him down. Perfect. The man was utterly useless. I do not ever choose to waste my time. Once something is used up, it should be eradicated. Lastly, the forger you sent back for more torture even though he seemed innocent. A strong decision. Leave no stone unturned. And what if it turns out he truly is innocent? It's always best to know beyond any doubt. After all, what is one man's sanity or life versus the fate of the Empire? Hmm. Each time, each prisoner, you made the best possible decision. You may yet be able to challenge Vemrin for Darth Barris's attention. To celebrate, a small reward. Thank you very much, Overseer. Thank yourself, Acolyte. It's performances like this that might just beat the extreme odds we're facing. Because I forced you into the Academy ahead of schedule, Darth Barris will be predisposed to judging you severely. And by severely, I mean fatally. Now, we must hurry to your next trial. Every moment that passes, we risk discovery before we're ready. In the caverns of Mark Aragnos is the beast he left to guard his legacy. Go there, sit among the flames, and wait for the beast to come for you.
You think that's enough information? How about you tell me about this beast? All you need to know is that it's ferocious and bloodthirsty, and in no way is it a trial for a normal acolyte. Return to the Valley of the Dark Lords and find the tomb of Marco Ragnos. I'll see you when the beast is slain. Good luck. Won't find a better bargain. Come back any time. Stand and account for yourself, Acolyte. Let's see what you're made of. I look at you, and I wonder, are you among the truly loyal, or do you hide treason in your heart? I am heir to a great Sith bloodline. How dare you even ask such a question of me? I do what the Emperor commands me to. Your special heritage does not place you above suspicion, nor should it. Intelligence reports indicate this valley shelters traitors. Acolytes who seek to destroy our Emperor's carefully built order and replace it with their own weak-minded heresies. They hide among the faithful and obedient. But make no mistake, they will destroy us all, given the chance. We've watched as the traitors scuttle about this valley and plot against us. We know their faces and their names. It is the Emperor's will that the sands of Korriban be slaked with the blood of these traitors. Prove your allegiance by executing them. It will be a great honor to serve you, my lord. And in serving me, you serve the Emperor. Remember that, as you exterminate those vermin in the valley. I'll give you the means to identify the traitors. Eliminate enough of them to prove your loyalty. Then return to Inquisitor Arzanen. I'll be watching your progress with great interest. Go now. See that the Emperor's will be done.
I watched you deal with those traitors. Well done. That was an impressive display of loyalty. Take this reward as a token of the Emperor's favor, and wear this badge. It marks you as a defender of our Empire. Stay vigilant. Our enemies lurk where you least expect them. A fresh, young acolyte come to view my experiments. Good. I trust the sight of a messy operating table doesn't disturb you? What's the situation here? Understanding the Force's mysteries requires that we seek answers everywhere, even inside a beast itself. This used to be a Tukata, the hound-like creatures infesting Korriban's tombs. On the surface, nothing special. but. I alone can see this creature is an expression of pure, dark side energy. Aggression made manifest. Amazing. How did you learn that? The Force told me so. It speaks to me. The Force is alive. It expresses its will in the physical world. This Tukata was one such form. Are we another of these forms? Sith are the highest manifestation of the Force's will. I've dissected hundreds of Tukata, forging a direct connection to the dark side. Each beast I examine advances me toward perfect unity. I now stand at a new frontier, but find myself thwarted. My most perfect specimen, a Tukata mutant, escaped to the tombs before I could analyze it. Your work is too important to fail, my lord. Indeed. Perhaps the Force has brought you to me for a reason. You acolytes delve those tombs on your trials. You could hunt that Tukata for me and retrieve its perfect brain. My apprentice, Malora, saw which tomb the mutant beast fled into. Find out what she knows, assist me, and you will be rewarded. I'll speak with Malora and do whatever is necessary, my lord. You found a great calling in my service. I trust you appreciate that. Seeking Lord Renning's lost pet, are you? <laughs> Don't waste your time. That fool's research is pointless. Tell me how you know this. My master is insane. Wasn't it obvious when you spoke to him? Renning deludes the Dark Council into believing he's advancing Sith knowledge. The truth is, he wastes the Empire's time and resources dissecting mindless animals. But if his experiments were discredited, he would be banished and I would be rewarded. Tell the Dark Council he's insane. I'm sure they'd listen. Don't be naive. The Dark Council would never believe the word of an apprentice over her master. Look, just a minor alteration to the mutant Tukata's brain would allow me to reveal my master as a fraud. Bring me the brain before delivering it to Lord Renning, and I'll make it worth your while. I'll see if the mood strikes me. You'll earn rewards from both the Master and his apprentice. It's a better deal. The mutant Tukata escaped to the tomb of Mark of Ragnos. It's much larger than the others, so it's easy to spot. Return to me with the brain before you see Lord Renning, and I'll take care of the rest.
I'm running out of patience. Have you finally acquired the mutant Tukata brain, or should I send someone else? I have what you asked for. <sighs> ha! Wonderful! Let me see it. You won't have any complaints. Look at the mottling along the frontal lobe. Oh, I can't wait to analyze this. You've done me a great service, but now I must continue my research. If there's nothing else? Melora asked me to sabotage your experiment. Is that so? Melora, if you can't show my work the appreciation it deserves, there's no place for you as my apprentice. Wait, Master. It's a lie. I haven't betrayed you. I know the truth when I hear it, Melora. I'm releasing you from my service. Eventually. <laughs> Master, please. My dear, the pain for you is only beginning. Take your reward and leave. Melora and I have much to discuss. Show her some mercy. She doesn't have to die. Oh, there are worse things than death. Goodbye, young one. service, my lord. medical attention.
Well, look who's here. Remember me? I never forget a face. Your name is Dolgis, right? Vemrin's boy. Very good. It's good to know the name of your killer. Notice anything interesting? No witnesses. No witnesses means no rules. No more shortcuts. No more special treatment. You're just going to be another dead failure on Korriban. No! Hold up, hold up. Look, I was wrong. What they're saying about you, totally true. So, strong. I don't want to die. Ask for no mercy and expect none. Die like a Sith. I failed you, Vemrin. <laughs> We must speak quickly, Acolyte. There isn't much time. I may have made a slight miscalculation. The beast of Mark Aragnos was a great source of dark energy here on Korriban. When it was slain, there was a tremor in the Force. Darth Barris felt that tremor and has become aware of you. He demands an audience. Tell me what to expect, Overseer. Barris is a serious man, but a master of deception. Everything he does and says is calculated. He will attempt to trip you up, test your nature, get to the heart of who you are. Always take him seriously. And I mean always. Consider me warned. We might not speak again, Acolyte. You're the best chance of stopping Vemrin. If you fail, I doubt there will be another strong enough. Good luck. Meet Darth Barris in his chambers, and hurry. He won't take kindly to waiting. So, yet another acolyte stands in the shadow of our academy. You must consider yourself privileged. Tell me, you who would be Sith, have you seen much of our civilization so far? Have you been awed by this world's power and glory? Indeed I have. Korriban is most inspiring, my lord. You find it so? Then you should understand something. Korriban was wrought by the true-blooded Sith millennia ago. Our ancestors, a crimson race of conquerors, raised the statues around us. Over the eons, however, our people mingled with slaves. Now the red markings of true Sith are rare, and the purity of this planet is in question. And what about me? Are you doubting my purity? No, you are young. It is your masters who concern me. True purity and strength are carried in the blood. I worry that our blood is being diluted over generations. In the Emperor's name, I have come to learn whether the Academy's overseers are Sith or not. You will be my instrument. I would be more than proud to help. It is a glorious opportunity. I possess an ancient device, a holocron, that can read and record bloodlines. It will pulse with life near the overseers. Allow the holocron to fulfill its purpose. Stand near the Overseers as it attunes to their blood purity. Then return here, and I will learn the truth.
Valentino. I believe that's the one. Really? All right. Hey, you! Careful, Tino. Come on, I'm antsy for some action. You there! Are you the big shot they're all talking about? The one who's been personally summoned by Darth Barris himself? News sure does travel fast. Please pardon my over-eager friend. It's just that we've heard so much about you. And we want to get in good with you. Tino? What my blunt partner here means is that if you need anything or anyone, say, dealt with, we'd like you to consider us. She's talking about Vemrin. We'll kill him for you. Sorry. I should have had Tino muzzled. So, what do you say? We know Vemrin tried to have you killed. Would you like him eliminated? I'm preserving the pleasure for myself. Far be it for us to rob you of such an experience, but consider this. There are rules. Acolytes are not to openly kill one another. Everyone knows of your rivalry. If you kill him, the Lords will presume your guilt. But if Vemrin croaks while you get an alibi, people might be suspicious, but they won't be able to pin it on you. See? I wouldn't be upset if Vemrin turns up dead. Say no more. Go about your business. We'll handle this with utter discretion. What does this mean, Fine? It means Vemrin is a dead man. And we're going to have the most potent of allies. Most of you will not return from this endeavor. If you die, you will be forgotten. If you give up, you will be killed. No, out of my sight. I've got a bad feeling about this. You should. This is the end of the line for you, Clemrel. Just make sure you stay out of my way. Look here, Vimran. I see the upstart, but no sign of Douglas. Clemrel, Vimran, you have been dismissed. Yes, Master. I underestimated you by sending Dolgus. It will not happen again. Are you having trouble with Acolyte Vemran, supplicant? If he insists on getting in my face like that, he's gonna have trouble with me. He has been hardened into a lethal machine. Vemran has paid his dues. He's fought a deck stacked against him to get here. You, on the other hand... Let me get a closer look at you. Yes, as I suspected. Overseer Tremel has done you and this academy a great disservice. Your war blade came early. Prisoners flown in for your convenience. Even a beast here on Korriban instead of off-world in the wild. The pacing of the trials is deliberate. Only full immersion over time produces results. Your mind is soft, unhoned, undisciplined. It was never my intention to offend. But it is offensive to be presented with an acolyte who doesn't even have a rudimentary understanding of what it means to be Sith. The first month of trials should be dedicated to philosophy, conceptual tactics, understanding of the Sith Code. Recite the Sith Code for me, Acolyte, and explain its meaning in battle, war, and politics. I don't recall learning a Sith Code, my lord. Your ability is undeniable, but your readiness and your understanding of the Sith way is woefully lacking. I am your master now. Tremel was becoming lax before you ever arrived. His unwillingness to adapt to the evolving Sith paradigm has become a liability. These are the actions of a traitor. Traitors are executed. I grant you immunity from punishment. Kill Tremel and bring back his hand as proof. It will be my extreme pleasure. Now, leave. I'm sure Tremel is still in his chambers. Don't return until you've killed him.
I didn't expect to see you again so soon. Has Barras sent you back to me? I'm here to kill you. Then I have been outplayed. Barris has the authority, but I did not think he would do something this overt. Either I die, or he forces me to kill you, and to destroy my own plan. A master stroke. Very well, you have your orders, Acolyte. Know that it gives me no pleasure to kill you. Let's get this out of the way. I'll try to make your end quick and painless. It's the least I can do. No. I'm amazed. I knew you were strong in the Force, but not like this. You're more than ready to challenge Vemrin. Barris won't be able to deny that now. He'll have the satisfaction of my death. But I die knowing my success. Go ahead. End this. You fought bravely, Overseer. Die with your head held high. Farewell, Acolyte. The purity of the Sith lies with you. What's this? The Acolyte returns, and with a blooded weapon. I assume this means Tremel is no more. Give me his hand. Here, take this one ring as a memento. Remembering the past can strengthen resolve and embolden the spirit. I am impressed you had the fortitude to destroy him. You know he thought of you as family. How did it feel to betray him? It was a day I will long remember. I savored it completely. Good. Feast on that. Not every kill will be as meaningful. You have taken your first step to understanding the Sith Code. Peace is a lie. There is only passion. Through passion, we gain strength. Through strength, we gain power. Through power, we gain victory. And through victory, our chains are broken. The Force shall set us free. By embracing the code and destroying Tremel, you have freed yourself from his shackles and escaped his fate. You've made your point. I understand. That's more like it. I had a feeling you'd be a fast learner. Now, there are sacred ruins in the tomb of Tulak Horde. The ancient inscriptions that once adorned the walls of each ruin lie in pieces. You will venture through the entire tomb, search all of the ruins, and bring me a shard from each of these inscriptions. You will do this, or you will die. Vemran and my other acolytes have already been sent. There are no rules regarding how they secure the shards, and they will stop at nothing. Fight your way through the tomb of Tulakord in the Valley of the Dark Lords, and bring me the shards from each of the ruined shrines. I have need of you, young one. Whatever errand your master sent you on can wait until we are through. As you decree, my lord. I am Inquisitor Eurinth, and I represent the intelligence operations of the Sith. We are currently holding an important Jedi prisoner. 
a spy who attempted to reach this academy. We have plans for him. Upon capture, we found the Jedi's mind simple to manipulate. We fed him false memories through a combination of drugs and sorcery. Soon he will return to his Jedi commanders and report the lies we fed him. He will know nothing of what we've done. All that remains is to stage his escape. Leave that to me. Good. I'm pleased that you appreciate our project. You are young enough, new enough, to be a plausible traitor. You will go to the Jedi, talk to him, do as he asks, earn his trust. When that is done, set him free. Do whatever is necessary to get him out of prison. We will ensure that he reaches his ship and returns safely to his Jedi friends. I will accomplish it. You will find the Jedi Quarian Dorgis in the jail cells. He is still confused and should not be overly difficult to convince. There is no emotion. There is peace. There is no ignorance. There is knowledge. The Jedi Code will guide me. I take it you're the Jedi who was captured. I am Corian Dorgis. I'm a Jedi. Even here. Even on Korriban. Why do you care? Why are you here? I'm here to get you home, if you play your cards right. And I'm to trust you, the word of a Sith. I don't understand. You're here to help me. Why am I talking in circles? What's wrong with me? You need to calm down. You're right. I apologize. There's no passion. There's serenity. There's no chaos. There's harmony. The Jedi Code will guide me. I can focus. If you want to help me escape, I'll need my belongings, my lightsaber, my comlink. Before I was captured, the Sith chased me into the tomb of Tulak Horde. I hid my belongings inside an urn to lighten my load. That is where you'll need to go. Closer, Acolyte. The wind outside has torn my ears to tatters, and my eyes grow strained and bloody in the dark. I've studied this tomb for years, slept on its stones, and dreamed of its depths. Now, I need assistance to solve its final mystery. Your name, now. I am Efren Zell. For generations, my family has studied the tombs of Korriban, traveling from one to the next to learn the history of the Sith. This tomb is the final resting place of Tulak Horde. The tomb's maze was built to his precise specifications. But he built his maze to hold more than just his body. He built it to secure his greatest creation, his terrible machine, the Red Engine. Keep going. What Red Engine? The machine was his life's work, a perfect puzzle that hid all his secrets. It was a vault and a library all at once. The scholars in the academy, they say the Red Engine was never completed. They say it never functioned. But I know how it works, and I know how to fuel it. What do you mean, fuel it? Listen now. Anyone can activate the Red Engine, but unless it receives its sacrifice, it will only sputter and die. The machine needs blood and hatred to become fully operational. If a Sith could slay the tomb's beast in its presence, 
Their deaths would be its fuel. Find the machine within the tomb. Work its mechanisms. And when at last it reveals Tulak Horde's secrets, I beg of you. Bring me its scripture. Bring me the knowledge I have dreamed of.
же.
Acolyte. I come with a message. Lord Barris can teach you the secrets of the Sith, but not all of the skills. For that, there are specialists in the Academy. Lord Barris commands you to find them and improve your skills. It's good to see such a young beauty of the true blood raised so high. Something for you to aspire to. Your skin marks you as a worthy partner, but no Sith will dally below her rank. Keep that in your mind when the training grows difficult. You will find the best trainers in the Academy's archive. You are expected there shortly. Step forward. I assume you've completed my task. I will take the holocron now. It is time we judge the purity of your overseer's blood. Time we know how much of the ancients survive in their veins. I completely agree. The holocron. It glows white. So little Sith blood in all of the Academy. And only one of the overseers wears the red marks. This is shameful. I will bring this to the attention of the Dark Council. Measures must be taken if the true Sith are to survive. What exactly is your plan? I'll advise purges and enslavement of those with the thinnest blood. And uplift the pure. It will be the Dark Council's decision, however. You have served well. It is too late for me to alter your training. But in the future, perhaps acolytes will kneel at the feet of the pure-blooded. I know you. We talked before. My head's clearer now, Sith. Here, the comlink, my lightsaber, everything I hid. You're going through with it. With all this, I... once the guards change shifts, I think I can slip out of the academy. But what about you? Will you be okay? Korriban is my home, Jedi filth. I fear nothing here. I should have remembered that. I apologize for my concern. I still don't understand why you're doing this, but I thank you. I think it's time that I be going. As you say, Sith. Thank you again. I'm... I'm sorry the Empire took you in, instead of the Jedi. If things had been different, maybe you could have been part of the Order. So the Jedi is preparing his escape. You did well. Not... Perfectly, but I have confidence the operation will succeed. Our business is concluded. I will make note of your assistance in my report. Anything for a fellow Sith. As it should be. Take these tokens as payment for your service, and know that no Jedi can threaten Korriban. Now go. You did it, didn't you? You got the shards from the tomb, and you're on your way back to Lord Barris. You need to move out of my way. 
I'll take that as a yes. Stop! I, I'm sorry. I made a mistake. I tried to get through the tomb, but there were just too many Shirak. I barely escaped. I figured better to ambush you and take your shards. But I see that's just as futile. Vemran is already inside with Barris. All the other acolytes died. You were my only chance. Now, I'm doomed. I'll never become Sith. Unless I return with the shards, Barris will have me killed. I'll save Barris the trouble of listening to your whimpering. Die! The prodigal supplicant returns. And with all the shards from the tomb of Tulak Horde. Superb. It seems your hopes have been dashed, Venran. Appearances can be deceptive. Excuse Vemlin, supplicant. He didn't take kindly to you turning those young acolytes on him, even though they were only untrained novices. That was a trick I learned from Vemrin himself. I was just giving him a taste of his own medicine. The tension is thick between you two, a great source of emotion to feed on. I wonder what will happen when it boils over. You both stand on the precipice of becoming Sith. But only one of you will have the opportunity to claim a special lightsaber and serve as my apprentice. I thought it would be you, Vemran, but I've changed my mind. What? I've done everything you've asked. Better than any of the others. The honor should be mine. Ignore Vemran, Lord Barris. His world is crumbling around him. Today, Vemran is every bit your equal. But the Force is stronger with you, Acolyte. And there is a power sleeping within you. It was a simple decision. Now, Vemran, go wait in my antechamber for your instructions. This instant! Now, I hope you fathom how fortunate you are to be singled out. If you become my apprentice, the galaxy will bend before you. You're not going to regret this, Barris. I was born to be Sith. The lightsaber you will seek is old and powerful. It is housed in a forbidden cavern in the tomb of Nagasadao, where few Sith have ever set foot. Almost no one knows how to find the secret entrance. But there is a Twi'lek in the holding pens who was caught breaking in there. I hear she is quite willful. Take her and make her show you the entrance to the Forbidden Cave. I will take care of that. Other acolytes seeking to complete their trials are sent to the tomb, where Academy laws are waived. They will try to murder you. This test will determine if you become Sith. So bolster yourself. To set foot in the tomb of Naga Sadao is to breathe in death itself. Rest, will you? I'm getting my fill of fun while I still can, slave. Ah, as if on cue, look who's back. Word is you might become Lord Barris's apprentice. Ah, nice work if you can get it. So, I hear you'll be relieving me of this Twi'lek. She's a pain in the neck. Ha! <laughs> who's a pain in the neck? I'm the one wearing a shock collar. Huh. <laughs> Consider that a going away present, Twi'lek. Seems you might be useful for something after all. This bruiser is taking you into the tomb where we caught you. None of you can figure out how to activate the tomb statues to open the Forbidden Cavern, huh? You got some kind of business in that secret Sith chamber, do you? Yes, and I'd appreciate your help. Don't bother being pleasant. 
Here, kid. Take the shock control color. I'll set it to a higher level. Use it enough, she'll show you the back door to her mother's house. I suppose I can play Tomb Tour Guide. A lot of work went into cracking that nut. But I did it once. I can do it again. So we're clear. I'm officially on strike when it comes to domestic duties. You'll do everything I require, and I mean everything. Don't get any twisted ideas in that sippy head of yours. Lead the way. I'll show you the unlocking point throughout the tomb, and then open the secret door for you. Nobody better mess with us now. Light, may I speak to you for a moment? I'm always willing to listen to a beautiful woman. Oh, yes. Thank you. You're too kind, really. There was another acolyte, not long ago, who entered this tomb and did not come back. He... he died in there. And you were worried to see a handsome man like me die too? No, I mean, not that... But that's not what I meant. I mean... It's just that the acolyte who went in there, he... he was a good sort. Friendly and talkative. He said he was entering the tomb to prove himself to his father. I just thought it would be nice if somebody took his body back and told his father he didn't make it. Yes, the father should be told that his son has fallen. I'd never survive in there. And even if I did, I wouldn't be allowed to see his father. He is a Dark Honor Guard stationed in the Academy. None but Sith can ever set foot on the sacred ground where he stands watch. But you could find the body and bring it to his father. Please do this and honor the Fallen. If I see the Acolyte's body, I will try to retrieve it. Thank you so much. If you find the Acolyte's remains inside the tomb, let me know. I can tell you where to find his father in the Academy. Good luck. Like I left it, this place is still ultra creepy. Oh! <laughs> 
nobody better mess with us now. This is it. The secret entrance to the hidden cavern isn't here. Just let me get my bearings. Take your time, slave. Just have the entrance uncovered by the time I finish killing your new master. You'll do nothing of the sort. Fitting that you meet your end in a tomb, Vemran. My passions run deeper than yours. I am the true essence of what it is to be Sith. My legacy has suffered long enough. After today, you will be forgotten. It ends here and now. was my destiny. Did I come this far and overcome such adversity, only to be proven unworthy? You're wasting your time. Just die. Oh. Wow. Nice work. Glad to impress you. The secret entrance is right here. Bite that tongue of yours, slave. Consider it bitten.
Just like I left it, this place is still ultra creepy. <laughs> got torn up pretty badly in there. Uh, he was so brave and ready to prove himself to his father. His father is, was, Naaman Fall. As I said before, he's one of the Dark Honor Guards in the Academy. If you take the Acolyte's remains to his father, I'm sure he'll be grateful. I suppose it's always good to make powerful friends. You can find the Acolyte's father outside the chamber of the Dark Council. That's where he stands guard. I get for you. Come back any time. You don't belong here. You stand before the Chamber of the Dark Council, and this floor is off-limits to all who are not Lords of the Sith. If you are not on official business, you will leave now. I've come with news about your son. So that is the smell you carry. It is said he went into the tomb of Naga Sadao to prove himself, and was killed. He was such a weak boy. He shames me in death as he shamed me in life. When I heard of his death, I could not leave my post. Honor forbade it. Still, I would like to know what happened in there. Of course. Ask away, my lord. Your deference does you credit. Now tell me, where did you find his body? Did my pathetic son even make it past the first steps? In the end, was he Sith? He died valiantly, deep in the tombs. He was nearly Sith. He died well. I suppose my son had more of me in his heart than I had ever considered possible. With this news, you have brought me a peace I didn't think possible. Thank you. I will have him buried in honor. Take this small token of my appreciation and go. You have done enough. Go. All better. My father was a staunch traditionalist, and he was especially hard on me. But he's my blood. 
Did you think you could kill him and get away with it? Who told you I killed your father? Everybody says so. The whole place knows you killed him. And now you have to die. Well, I suppose the whole place can't be wrong. You'll rue the day you took his life. Attack! I am beside myself. Not only did you get the Twi'lek to cooperate, but you completed the task and claimed the ancient lightsaber. Venran was not in my chamber as I instructed. I take it he sought to stop you and claim the ancient weapon as his own. He tried and failed. Venran was nothing if not consistent. Bravo. I see you may indeed become one of the strongest Sith in the galaxy. Your trials are over. You are now my apprentice. It took you long enough. Mind your tone, my young initiate. This is only the beginning. With you as my right hand, we shall strike fear into the Empire's enemies. I must convene with the Emperor and inform him of your progress. This shuttle pass will take you to Dromund Koss. Meet me at the Citadel there. As you decree, my lord. Take the Twi'lek slave as my gift. Do with her as you wish. If she'll be of use, by all means take her with you to Dromund Koss. <laughs> The shuttle to Drummond Cast will be leaving soon, apprentice. I suggest you gather your slave, other belongings, and catch it. This place is of higher...